Hello and welcome to Game Mash. I'm your host, Mr. Game Mash, and today we're going to be doing something just a little different. Now, it is an episode of Game Mash, don't worry. Not another new series, although there will be two new series coming on here shortly. I'm not sure exactly when. I need footage of the games I'm going to do. But, um, for now, this is an episode of Game Mash. We're getting back to our roots. Except for one little thing. See, I was looking over the list of existing Game Mash episodes, all three of them, and I noticed that they're in either Skyrim or Oblivion, both of which Elder Scrolls games. So today, I'm modding a game that is not Elder Scrolls, but it does kind of keep the motif, because I'm going to be taking the Elder Scrolls games that we here at Game Mash love so much, and shoving them in to Civilization V. Let's begin. Alright, so, like I said, playing Civilization V, and, um... What this mod does is it adds Tamriel map. You can be East Grimoire of Skyrim, Tiber Septum of Cyrodiil, Mayrun's Dagon of Oblivion. Heck, you can even be King Dumak. Dumak, who cares? Of Dwemereth, which I guess is the land of the Dwemer. I was unaware. Maybe it's not canonically? However, you know what I know is not canonically correct, and this bugged me from the second I played it because it's the first civilization you see that's new Argonia. Anzalil sounds Argonian. I think that might be a uh, leader of the Argonians. One problem Argonians aren't from Argonia. Deceptive name, I understand. But someone who, you know, is willing to do enough research to know that Cyrus would be the most legendary Red Guard, he's, I mean, he's a character from a uh, spin off game. So, it's not exactly common knowledge. You'd think they would get the Argonians' homeland right. It's Black Marsh. Also, as you can see, they added in like little things. Watch this. That's just ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. I had never chosen uh, the Argonians before because of the Argonia thing. But it even says Black Marsh in the picture they used. Come on, guys. I'm honestly not sure where I'm going to start. Because it starts you in specific locations. But Oblivion isn't in one particular place. It might start me... Uh, what's the town? I want to say it's Kvach that's destroyed like immediately. But I'm probably wrong. Hmm, that is kind of cool. Is that it actually says Daedric. Like, and it will say, like... Imperial for the ones from Cyrodiil, Nordic from uh, Skyrim, that kind of stuff. Argonian from what should be Black Marsh, but it's for some reason Argonia. I'm not going to let them live that down. It's an amazing mod. Except for that one thing. But really, that one thing, man. That one thing really throws you off. One major problem I have with the mod is that it really doesn't change the actual game all that much. I mean, there are one or two things that change in the actual game besides the map. But... It's not all that significant. I mean, if you're Oblivion, your Longswords are now called Dramera, but the models and the icon are still the same as the Longswordsman. I understand the model thing. I have tried to make animated models before, and let me tell you, that is hard. But they changed several of the icons in the game, so they're clearly capable of changing the Longswordsman icon to a Dramera icon. They just didn't. Also, something that really disappointed me was that when you build a sigil tower, or as it's called in the game Oblivion, a sigil's keep, it doesn't actually show up in your city. In the city of Deadlands, I have built a sigil tower, and yet nothing showed up. I guess they're not all too experienced with models, but using a simple program like Blender, you could have gotten a model for the sigil tower, considering the model doesn't really have to be any bigger than, say, this. I mean, it doesn't have to be detailed, it's a small model. It just has to resemble the Sigil's Keep, and it would have made the mod so much better. Also, something that would have made the mod cooler is if it was possible to play with friends. I mean, playing against the computers and Tamriel and getting to control an empire is cool and all, but getting to play against friends would have been so much more fun. Even if there's not, like, random online multiplayer, you know, if you could just hook up with two or three friends and 
play throughout the map of Tamriel trying to conquer each other. That would have been awesome. So get on that, guys. Thanks for watching. See the video on the left side of the screen? That'll bring you to my gaming channel. See the video on the right side of the screen with my face on it? That'll bring you to my main channel where you'll find vlogs and the occasional skit. And you see the Pokeball down in the bottom of the screen? That'll bring you to the Shoga Games Twitch channel where you can watch all the latest installments of the Jinja Ninja Nuzlocke run. And don't forget to tune in next week for a brand new Game Mash series. Till then, see you later!